Welcome back to the channel and you're looking at a carrying case, matchbox carrying case that I had when I was a kid. Came out, I think it says 1978 or 79. Um, I got on eBay and I found this seller that was selling this case and 48 vintage matchbox cars. And two of them I really wanted. I had when I was a kid and I, I said, I got to get this collection. And after it was all said and done, I only paid about $2 and some change for each one of them. So let's go through each one of them and show you. These cases were just so cool back in the day. Let me spin it around here a little bit. Open it up like this. Yeah, these case. I wish they still made cases like this. Uh, let's take this out first. Check this out. This is, I don't know what this is. It's like some kind of hover thing that goes over water. That's pretty smooth. Uh, some things I got in here, I got like two of. This is one of them. This is another one. This is a green one. And, well, it's a lime green. This one's the darker green. These are really cool. It's rescue. So apparently it's something that, uh, let me scoot the camera back, that goes in the water. So, uh, yeah, old matchbox here. I mean, they're just nice, man. I just thought they were pretty cool. And, um, I mean, like I said, the whole set that I got, just everything you can think of. Check this one out. Yeah. I don't know exactly what this is. I mean, I mean, it's a little dirty. Something. Most of the other ones are really clean and everything. Got the motor sticking out right there. Um, this one I got, I think, two of them. Yeah. There's two different ones. Well, that's the same one, I think. But it's okay. If I can get them out, they're a little hard to get out. Check them out there. Sorry, sorry if I'm shaking the camera. But, um, yeah, check these out. It's a Ford, whatever it is. Yeah, Ford Transit, it says on it. Made in England. So, yeah. Like I said, $2 a piece, man. Let me go through this. Let me just take it out like this. Take this out. There we go. And uh, we got some bugs here. This one's seen its better days. <laughs> my hands have seen better days. I need to put some lotion on my hands. Uh, I got um, dried skin there, but check this out. This got some, look like I got missiles. It's got a little dude in it with a helmet. I mean, it's got some scratches and stuff on it, but it, you know, it's cool. This one's really cool. This is the dragon wheels. You put this up like this. Check them out. Green bug. He's a little, you know, a little jacked up a little bit. He's rusted and everything. Well, not rusted, but just scratched up. I can't really seem to get him to go all the way down. Um. Then we got this red bug. With the big old motor in the back. Man, I just I was so happy to find this online and get these um this one right here is a dodge challenger i remember my buddy had this when i was a kid man this is a great car i was like man i remember that one got this this like silver on the inside and there's some things in this that's you know not everything. I mean, when you buy a lot like this, this is what happens. You're going to get some other stuff. But there's just it's just cool. Look at this. This opens up. This is like some futuristic car. I'm guessing. This is Midnight Magic. So that's one thing about uh, Matchbox, man. They had just some cool stuff that opened up and closed like that. Um, then we got this one. This is Swamp Rats. I don't, it's got a little rat on it too, but I'm not for sure why there's a guy with a gun, but this even spins. It's Matchbox though. Every bit of this is Matchbox. It's 
really cool. I don't remember having any of that, but that's that first one. Let's slide it to the side here. We'll slide this one to the front. There's two of these. A little dude in them. The first one is pretty jacked up. Well, hell, that wheel is being bad on that one. But it's okay. I got two. And I think this one, this one's a little bent too. I don't know what the deal is. But it's all right. Um, this one I really dig. This truck. Check this truck out. It's got a, um, it's a Ford. Got a, um, it comes off too like this. But that's just really cool that it's got a see-through bed to it. That is, that is pretty sweet. Right there's the front and the sides. I'm gonna put it back in there. This one right here is kind of scratched up a little bit. This looks like one of them El Caminos or something. It's got a little hitch on the back. Most of them's really good shape except for that one. That one's kind of, you know. Um, then check this out. I don't even know what this is. It's got the motor. It's a little goes up and forward, but then we got this one. This is a Mercedes Benz. I think that no, I thought the doors opened up on this one, but I guess not. Ugly yellow, ain't it? Some, uh, but then then there's some of them that I have two of. This is one of them where I got two. This is the Sunburner. This almost looks like, um, I don't know if that's a Ferrari or not. Kind of similar to like a Ferrari. And the back end kind of reminds you of a DeLorean. If you can see that. But I got two of them. I don't think there's much difference. Yeah. Same thing. It's cool. Uh, this one right here. This is a Firebird. Check that out. Got the... Like an orangish looking tent. The old Firebird. Got two of them. I love this vet. This bed is sweet. Check this old vet out. That's some of my favorite vets from the 70s. I really like that. And, believe it or not, we have a Pantera. Yes, there's a band called that, but there's also a car called that. And I don't know if that's exactly about where they got their name from, but number 17, and it even says Pantera on the uh, hood right there. I was so tickled with that i'm like this is freaking sweet man a damn pantera that is just cold cool as hell um but that's the second set I'll push that card in there man this one don't fit good because i'm jacked up things um and then you know matchbox which they still do this had a lot of like construction rides and stuff this one's really cool. This one. It's got that and it, it's got this that goes on the back. It says Sealand. It's one of them storage containers. And even the doors open up. I thought that was nice. It's just something different. I mean, I don't always have to have hot rods and stuff. I just think that's cool. They make stuff like that for the everyday folk. Check this truck out. Green tent. I mean, look at all the tents back then. They had some wild looking colors and stuff on Matchbox. But um, I guess that's the work on the farm. Uh, then we have a tractor. Uh, we'll see better days. I'll probably have to bend them. I hope I'm trying not to tear them up. Uh, then we have some kind of... Looks like an army vehicle. Don't change the channel yet. I've got some cool stuff coming up. Here's another one of them. This one's a uh, change the channel. This one's got a little satellite thing. Something like you're on TV or something. I guess, well, this is a channel. So, I mean, you might go to a different channel. That one's like a 
rustic color. This one's maroon. There's three of them. It's kind of like a maroonish color or maybe a orangish color, some kind of color. Here we go. Check this out. A little bitty thing to put some dirt in and dump it over. We got a forklift thing. Check this out. It even raises up. I'm going through these kind of quick because I know probably too, not too many of you like looking at these things. I got a dump truck. Purple at all that. <laughs> yeah, there's two of these. I don't know if that other one's the same exact. Yeah, it is. This one's worse shape though. It's got a little scratches. It doesn't have the stickers. And then there's two of these. That's pretty cool. I think there's two of them. Is this a, yeah, this one doesn't have the hook. So anybody know, and these are, extend out. That's pretty cool. If anybody knows what some of these might be worth, I don't know. Like I said, I ended up giving only about $2 a piece. I am very happy with this uh, haul. I'm going to slide it over here, and we're going to go to the last one. And this is the main one that I really wanted. Yeah, as you can see up close, we have the Red Rider. I was telling uh, Rhonda, my wife, about the Red Rider when I was a kid. I remember in kindergarten, a kid had this car, and he wanted to trade me the car for my french fries at lunch one day. <laughs> and I did the trade, and I had the Red Rider. Not only did I have the Red Rider, boy, he ride, he he. he could, he rolls good too. And the Cosmic Blues, baby. These are the two that I saw in here that I really wanted. And, you know, thinking back and stuff like that, I thought these were Hot Wheels all the time, but no, they're Matchbox. They do make a, a switch to Roo on these. There's one that's blue and has the white writing and the white stars and stuff. I'd like to get that one one day too. Um,. This is some kind of fire vehicle. I mean, all these are cool. There's another one like that, too, but I, the stickers are tore off of it. Actually, I like it better without the stickers. Um, then we have a fire truck. Got the hose. This one's really cool. This one raises the, the ladder up. I don't know if it doesn't extend. Got this ride. I don't even know what this is, but it's sweet. Steering wheel on the other side. I can see what that is. What does it say? Doesn't really say on the bottom. There's a, uh, I think this is a 57, yeah. Hood opens up. There's another one that I like to get that's black and it's got yellow and it's got the flames and stuff on it. But uh, he did have another set of cars like this and. Um, it was in that set, but I wasn't buying another whole set of cars. The main reason I bought these is, you know, some of them other ones that I done showed you. This was cool. I had this, this says Los Angeles City Fire Department. Don't know. I mean, that's pretty cool, though. I mean, you don't see stuff like that. And then this raises up. It's even got a dude in it. Let me turn it like this. So, yeah, that is just, that's nice. I thought that was cool. But even to have like something like a city on it, Los Angeles. So maybe that's worth some money. I don't know. This thing looks like something out of Blade Runner. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. It's pretty wild. They had some cool stuff, man. This one right here is, a, I think it's an ambulance. Check this out. What, what kind of ambulance is that? I don't It's wild. Steering wheel on the other side too. I think the yeah the back opens up. Check that out. You can see inside of it. And then we have a Wells Fargo truck. Ain't that sweet? It's got a phone number. It looks like on the front of it. Some kind of number. Hmm. Doors don't open or nothing on that. But um, yeah, these. Or two of my grails and they're in really good shape i mean so good i've seen some of them tore up online people trying to sell and the, the 
the rust i mean the not the rust but the chrome was ripped off and stuff i mean this one's a little faded a little bit but these two right here are the just they're just sweet and i just love them i'm glad i got this set um had some other you know rides and stuff inside of it so some of this stuff i'll take out and put in my vintage um shelving things that i have on the wall and some of them will just stay in here but i definitely will be doing some shorts and stuff of some of the vintage stuff coming up um on the videos and stuff a little dusty there from some of that stuff but um and then i'll show you know some other things off that's uh on my walls here that i have because a lot of people wonder where i'm putting all this stuff at but um yeah put that close that but the coolest thing was is getting the case to man the case the just the front of it's just so cool so yeah matchbox uh is really cool i mean had some cool stuff back then and um tell me what your favorites are in this i like it it says vehicles not included right there but guess what they were this time when i bought them 40 years later give me a comment if you like my videos, please share them to somebody else that you might know that might like them and other collectors. And thanks. And give me a sub if this is your first time viewing on Diecast Johnny's channel.